people. So today we're gonna to be talking about the top five cybersecurity jobs that you guys need to know about for 2025. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries across the entire nation and you definitely need to see what's going on with it. All right, so first off, we have information security analyst. Overall summary, information security analyst help protect companies' information from hackers, viruses, malware, et cetera. So for my research, information security analysts work a lot with SIMS or security information and event management systems such as Splunk. They're gonna be going through the logs, checking alerts, just kind of a overall monitoring role. They're also gonna be creating dashboards within Splunk, let's say, to give to their executives to see like a live view of what's going on with the network. A weird trend that I have been seeing is a lot of companies are now using information security as opposed to cybersecurity. I don't really know what the difference is or why they're making the transition, but just something to look out for. I've also noticed that this information security analyst role is more so on the beginner side before you start getting into more senior, more specific niche-based roles. All right, so number two is going to be penetration testers or commonly known as ethical hackers. For those of you guys that do not know, penetration testers perform simulated cyber attacks on a company's computer systems and network. They're trying to find vulnerabilities that black hat or unethical hackers are looking to find and exploit. I think this is a role that's going to absolutely explode because of the increase of computing and programming power with artificial intelligence. I think this is going to be a very, very lucrative role, especially as companies want to hire penetration testers for their own system and also for consulting purposes. I would say this role is more technical when it comes to various programming languages. I think especially having Linux is going to be a huge advantage, but obviously if you start conducting more sophisticated attacks, you're gonna get into like Java, Go, Rust, etc. All right, so the third cybersecurity role I see booming in 2025 is going to be cybersecurity architects. So in summary, cybersecurity architects use hardware, software, and protocols to neutralize threats associated with various types of scams and frauds. These are gonna include ransomware, malware, viruses, phishing, and hacking. So based on my research, I have found that cybersecurity architects is more of a senior role. A lot of them are hired from within. So they've been at a company for four or five plus years and really have a good understanding of how the organization works and what system they want to implement. All right. So the fourth one I see, and it's always going to be there, is going to be cyber sales engineer. So this one is combining the best of both worlds with your engineering hard skills with also your people skills, such as sales. Cyber sales engineer need to know their product inside and out and be able to articulate it to their future clients and customers as a way to actually implement this software into their own company. Once again, this one's going to be extremely extremely, extremely lucrative because some of these cybersecurity products are not cheap. And if you're getting a commission off of each sale of these, the sky is truly the limit when it comes to your potential earnings. I do see a lot of people who are cyber sales engineers they were prior software engineers or hardware engineers, so they do have that technical experience, but then they transition into a sales role in about two or three years. So the last role I'm gonna be talking about is a network security engineer. So the role of a network security engineer is to protect a company's actual network infrastructure from attack. They're gonna be working really close with a cyber team, especially when it comes to alerting. If an alert is coming from inside the network that the, let's say, information security analyst is not expecting, it's going to be the network security engineer's responsibility to go back and see what's going on with that specific alert. They're going to also configure new technologies such as routers, VPNs, switches, and firewalls against attack on their network. I'd say a really important aspect if you want to become a network security engineer is having incident response or preventative threat experience. And this is just going to go back to the importance of understanding alerting. All right, guys, there you guys have it. Those are the five jobs that I see absolutely booming in 2025 when it comes to cybersecurity. Please let me know down in the comments if there's any other roles you want me to go over, salaries, anything. All right, y'all have a good one. I'll see you guys later in another video.